Charlie, Vital Pharmaceuticals went bankrupt. Bang Energy going broke. Oh, no! Oh, goodness! Not Jack Owok. Oh, God. Bang Energy parent company files for bankruptcy. Why? You telling me an absolutely unhinged CEO going rabid <laughs> and making absolute... I don't, I don't even know the right word to describe his claims. Outrageous, I guess? About super creatine and shit? You're telling me that wasn't the recipe for, for success? And having women dance around and rub themselves over Bang Energy to sell it wasn't enough? You think this is it for Bang? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, Vital Pharmaceuticals, though, being the parent company of Bang, does bode poorly, and Bang themselves is locked into a big lawsuit right now with Monster over their super creatine claims. Which were just wrong. We need Elon to save the day. That's what Jack Olock needs to do. If he just makes a post on Twitter asking Elon to buy his company out, Elon would probably do it. Jack Olock put out a new video about bankruptcy on YouTube. No way. Oh my god. Is he addressing it head on or is this him trying to prove the super creatine is real? Hello and welcome, friends. I'm the CEO of Bang Energy, and I hope this message finds you well and thriving. With all the recent news and everybody from Bloomberg to BabNet being obsessed with Bang Energy, there have been numerous questions regarding super creatine and whether it's real. I can assure you that super creatine is real. Mm. Just like creatine monohydrate or any other forms of creatine, super creatine increases free creatine in plasma and blood nice and muscle. Oh, yeah, if this is your first time seeing Jack Owak, you're in for a wonderful surprise. This man dresses like what every 12-year-old boy in 1994 thought was cool fashion. He has like these awful, awful chains. The worst suits imaginable. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next clip we see him in some parachute pants. For starters, even Monster's own bought and paid for study showed a rise of creatine levels in human muscles after test subjects consume super creatine. CEO man 3000. The Monster Commission study. <laughs> yeah. Furthermore, Bro, just tell me about the, the lawsuit. In my opinion, the Monster study was defectively designed to make super creatine look inferior. Super creatine nevertheless elevated creatine levels in human test subjects. What's even more remarkable is that free creatine levels in the blood continue to rise. Bro, just address the lawsuit. I don't really after ingestion. I don't really we are care. obviously very proud and excited about the Peking study. You can all, he's criticizing the monster study for tanking the super creatine results, but he could have very, very easily had bogus studies on confirming the super creatine results. It, it's a door that swings both ways. I'd rather he just like address on the nose what's happening with the lawsuit more so than trying to like verify super creatine's real. Which, I'm going to tell you, I don't believe in at all. I, I don't think there is a fucking shot Jack Olwok, this absolute unhinged CEO of Bang, somehow cracked a new improved creatine for Bang Energy. I don't see it, but that's not even what I'm interested in. I just want to see how the lawsuit's going and this company going bankrupt. It's been that way for years. You guys might remember back in... When was it? I think it was the 60s. Can't remember. We even went over it on stream back when there was this huge push against sugar. So in order to placate that, companies uh, started hiring labs to do other studies to say, actually, it's not the sugar making everyone fat, it's the fat content. So then they'd start pointing to these studies like, no, sugar is unfairly blamed. It's fat. And for about, shit, like 30 years, people believed it. Fat was vilified by the general populace. And sugar got off scot-free for quite a while. What about you? In a recent trial against Monster, we were issued a $293 million verdict. Yeah. This alone would cause almost any company to file bankruptcy. This, however, does not mean Bang is going out of business. Quite oh, the contrary. okay. Chapter 11. We're doing better now than ever. Of reorganization to keep our business alive and to pay our creditors over time. Jack, I'm going to be your business strategist here for a moment. You need to invest in even more chains and more almost nude women to promote Bang. We need to double down in the sectors that are going to make us pop off. And that's you as the influencer face on the YouTube channel and surrounded by all of the Bang Energy women 
like rubbing it in their ass crack and all that. That's where we need to put our focus for marketing and we will survive this. I have no doubt, Jack. Let me repeat that, my friends. Bang Energy will be doing business as usual. Amen. In fact, with our new decentralized distribution system, I believe that you'll be able to find more flavors of Bang Energy <laughs> in more places than ever before. In addition to our eloquent... That's not, like... <laughs> that, that's not, like, the great flex he really thinks it is. The bankruptcy reorganizing isn't a great thing to even spin positively it's just coming across more sad <laughs> than anything but hey to each their own baby what about you no cretin monohydrate has terrible you shouldn't ask me that water i once stirred and left cretin monohydrate in a glass of water overnight and the cretin monohydrate never dissolved however super creatine is highly water soluble and goes into solution within a few minutes that sounds pretty darn super to me what about you? Super Still no. Is stable in a beverage and Still what? fucking no. All of this is just easily faked and easily manufactured and manipulated. It's just fucking worthless. It really is. And especially because you're only citing one study. You are still only citing a single study that was performed outside of the U.S., I'm pretty sure. Who was it? I believe it was Peking Bio. It's for international students taught in Chinese. So it is outside of the U.S., right? Is it in China? Water stable at room temperature. Other forms of creatine are not stable in water and over time degrade to creatinine. That sounds pretty darn super to me. What about you? You gotta stop asking this me, Jack. Just Still in. not. We have preliminary evidence that shows that super creatine may have a half life in human plasma for roughly seven days. Furthermore, super creatine is made up of roughly 50% L1. Where was that? You're not gonna you're not gonna cite that one? This just in. I made something else up real quick. Who performed that study? Furthermore, super creatine is made up of roughly 50% L-leucine, which is known as the most powerful contributor to muscle protein synthesis out of all essential branch chain amino acids. You want to know a fun fact about that one? This claim's not even like super wrong, but you want to know what's interesting? Every fucking drink ever has this in it. It's not like Bang all of a sudden has this chemical X. This shit is found in every fucking drink. It is like one of the most common additives to a drink. Thanks, they resub Rose. He must really think people that drink Bang are stupid. In fact, no other creative molecules contain the powerful amino acid L-leucine except for super creatine. What are you talking about? What? What? I don't know. I don't know what the claim he's making in regards to super creatine, but uh, literally every single drink, uh, every single, even like, uh, like, um, not supplements, but the, like the shake stuff, not Soylent, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Like the flavor additives, like all of that shit has that all of it, fucking all of it. It's not unique to bang or super creatine unless he's somehow using it differently, which I don't think he is. Hey, this sounds pretty darn super to me. What about you? No, it sounds and standard. <laughs> Stop asking me that. Us. You know, you know where I stand. Super creatine. Rodney Sachs That's not a good thing. Personally, and trying to destroy my family and children by taking away my house and other possessions. It is important to note that we recently filed a mega lawsuit against Monster Energy oh. Drink and Rodney Sachs. This lawsuit refers to more than 120 reports of suspected links between consumption of Monster Energy Drink and serious adverse health events, including 10 heart attacks and roughly 20 deaths. Let's take a peek at Bang's uh, list of fatalities. I'm sure you're not far behind. Monster is significantly bigger than Bang, but I bet Bang has a... Quite a quite a long list of bodies here. Let's see, bang related heart attacks. Still not focusing in on bang. It just keeps casting the net wider. The reason I want to single out bang not only because of the monster call out, but bang has more caffeine. So bang has three hundred milligrams of caffeine, which is a fucking ton. Like that's a lot. And I think what does monster have? Monster has 86. What? Is that right? Oh, 180. Where is this 86 coming from? Oh, this isn't giving me this isn't giving me a whole can. I see. I see. Yeah, this wasn't the whole can. It was just giving me like a serving size of the can. So yeah, 160 according to this. So Bang is almost double the caffeine. 
let's let's take this. So they're they're coming after monster for heart attacks and uh, adverse health effects, and that's going to be attributed to the caffeine because of like atrial fibu atrial fibrillation, I think is what it's called, from like too much caffeine. I, I'm going off memory here. And that's at 180, 160 milligrams of caffeine for Monster. Now double that. Bang's in a much worse spot. We know that Monster has been involved in well over a thousand lawsuits. Many individuals and companies Damn. have been destroyed by Monster, who's now trying to destroy us. Remember, friends, what the great late Albert Einstein said. Great spirit. Caffeine's not correlated with AFib? I thought it was. I, again, I'm going off memory. It's something, though. Here, uh, let me let me at least get it right. What is it then? Caffeine is directly correlated with some kind of heart condition, like too much caffeine. Let me see. It is it's not often. Ninety four percent of physicians agree something, even when its benefits have been de demonstrated in randomized clinical trials, such as the use of beta blocker. Oh wait, no, no, kind of. Focused on three type of specific arrhythmias: one, atrial fib atrial fibrillation. So it is listed there. But yeah, this is excessive caffeine. This isn't just like one energy drink kind of caffeine, which is what I was saying. Like too much caffeine. Primarily because of Monster's insistence mm. upon waging war against super creatine and me personally. What's no one wants to go to war with you, Jack. You're too cool, as we too are scary. Super creatine, I don't know anybody who drinks a bang energy drink because of super creatine. Do you? In fact, all yeah, that's like the, your main selling point. Certain. What do you mean? <laughs> of course, there's people that do. Bro, you hype super creatine up like it's like a panacea. There are absolutely people that drink Bang Energy just because of the fucking super creatine claims. What are you talking about? Now you're just blatantly lying. What are you saying? That is your main talking point. Outside of the women shaking their ass and their tits next to a Bang Energy can, the next thing that you try and market is the super creatine. It's like the crux of your strategy. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Make no mistake, my it friends like and loyal threat. supporters. Bang Energy is coming like a freight train and cannot be stopped. Oh shit, he's ripping on it. That double bass going hard. Alright. I would say... Not the best defense of the massive, massive lawsuit. But it could have been worse. Bang CEO says yes to the dress. Oh, someone recommended that last time and I forgot. They made like their own documentary about themselves. Well, he made his own documentary about himself and his family were just side characters in it. My fiance is Jack Owak. We're wildly entertaining when we get together. We're both little kids at heart. He's definitely the man that God put on this earth for me. Yeah, they're very spiritual. And she couldn't be more right about them being kids at heart. Uh, I mean, you need look no further than Jack Owak's fashion. In pretty much everything you ever see him in, Hello and welcome, he's wearing shit like this. <laughs> She's on the money. For sure. W drip. It, it is quite drippy. This man's out here with that super swag style set to ultra. Looking looking real nice. She, uh, about being classy. Definitely want to be covered up up here. I came here today to make sure she got the right dress. Most of Megan's clothes, like her jeans today, her shoes, everything, I dressed her in. Ah, that sounds healthy. He's my fiance and I want to make him very happy. So I'm open to trying on any different style. Okay. What's your budget? I'm prepared. I don't let my wife make her own decisions. To get that, you know, that her budget is what I say it is. Different mermaid looks here. It quickly becomes obvious who's looking to take charge. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I want you to try this one. I hate waves. But what I did you just say? No what did you just say to Jack? Don't ever say that again. And especially not in public, you fucking harlot. This is his special day, for God's sake. Let him pick out the dress he wants. I didn't know what I liked, what I didn't like. I was really just looking oh. at Jack. Gina, what an awful fucking relationship. 
I don't know what I like. I only like what Jack tells me I like. So when I was looking for things, I had no mind of my own except what Jack wanted. God, that's awful. I feel terrible just even hearing that. Is it going to have enough room here in the chest area, though? Yeah, it well, probably will. Look, this drawer wasn't named Brattles by Jack. Since the groom already vetoed the bride's choice... Well, it will be soon when he buys it. With all the money Bang's not making. Flirty gown. She but what is Jack... Oh, he's gonna hate it. He's gonna hate it. Oh, wow. Oh, he's gonna hate it. You harpy, how dare you. Wow. I don't want to get married now. I hate the dress. You can see it on his face. Now tell me how you feel about this. I really like this, but... I want to know what Jack thinks about this dress. Excessive amounts of ruffles. You know I don't like ruffles. Is this say yes to the dress or say yes to the breast? Ooh, he had that one cooking in his back yeah, pocket. Pull that top up. Tell us an ideal dress. You need to speak with my fiance about that. The ideal dress is something like a like a white hoodie, perhaps, and with a giant bang chain, perhaps. And I'll even get her maybe a bouquet of flowers to carry around, but only if I can put little bang toppers on them. That's the proper attire. We're gonna put Meg Liz in a sophisticated sheath gown with embroidered details. How dare you! Are you out of your mind? This is say yes to the dress, not say yes to fucking tits! Oh yeah. Jack is gonna blow a gasket. Beautiful. Is this a joke? Are you not taking his criticism seriously? Jack, I'm so sorry they're doing this to you, man. Now tell me how They're not even considering your feelings. I would say like 8.5. Whoa. I really like this one. Scale from 1 to 10. It's a 1. Points. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, it's bad. Wow. I thought I had some claws. Didn't even ask Jack. His fiance. He's making me look like a kitten. Now I am sure there are plenty of dresses that allow enough room to breathe and enough room in there for the Lord to come in. We, we can't be coming out here showing this much skin. As Jack says, it's not skin to win. We're getting married. It's a holy matrimony. There's nothing holy about this dress. Uh, ridiculous. I'm on Team Jack. <laughs> this is outrageous. Why is his wife making her own decisions again? Why is Jack not back there? Huh? What what happened? Jesus Christ. They kick him out? Ugh. This, sh this show is very unprofessional. You gotta stand up for yourself and figure out what you want. What did you just say? You just said that in front of Jack Owak. Do you realize that? Well, I hope you like being blacklisted for bang energy drinks. Never getting one of those again. Maybe we should start looking for the dress that I knew I wanted, the mermaid style. <gasps> Finally, Pardon? Pardon? Is shopping for herself. Okay. Okay, what do we got now? Mermaid style, okay. blurmaid style, my ass. Down with a sweetheart neckline. If this isn't coming out like a sweatshirt or like a letterman jacket, down. it's a no. Nope. Nope. You fucked it. Oh my god. What are you this. not understanding? This is along the lines of what you want. Yes. Now I know exactly what I like. My figure looks amazing, and I absolutely love the mermaid sound. <sighs> okay, we found a dress. Mermaids are the work of the devil. But now we need to keep the fiance from throwing a tootsie roll in the punch bowl. Look I don't know that expression, that but that's not happening. There's a tootsie roll going right in there. Go. Coming in. I had a strong Get ready to fish the tootsie roll out of the punch bowl. Be my dress, and I realized that I do not want my fiance to change my mind. You want me to kick him out? Yes, please. Yeah. Out. yeah. What? Are y'all ready to see the next dress? Yes. yes. Okay, Jack, honey. I got some bad news. What's that? Meg absolutely, positively loves this dress. That's too damn bad. It does. It doesn't matter what she wants. This is Jack Owak's wedding. I'm kind of wanting to refuse to go. But, you know, Lori's running the show. It's her world, I'm just visiting. He must have, like, the stiffest back in the entire East Coast. The way he walks, it's like a like a robot. Like a bang android. She picked the right dress. Beautiful, classy. She rocked Oh, they paid him. It's, it's the same kind of dress that he had an issue with before. They softened him up for the show. All staged. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course it's not staged. Actually, to be honest, I bet everything that happened at the shop probably was like a little of Jack leaning into him being the douchebag, but that's just kind of Jack. Like, that is very Jack Owak behavior, to be honest. 